Hi, this is Mr. Kresselt. In this, in this video, it describes some of the very fundamentals, the very basics of Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to show you around for the next couple of minutes uh, around this program and, and just some of the basic things to help you get up and running. So I went ahead and I just opened up Inventor. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to create a new part. So if we go up to this blank sheet of paper up here, that's the um, symbol for new. So if we click at the little down arrow next to it, you'll notice that we can create four types of files with this, with this Autodesk Inventor program. We can create assemblies, drawings, parts, and if we want to make, um, you know, show other people the um, projects we made, we can make presentations. For now, we're going to be creating a part. And for now, this is probably the only thing that you'll need to worry about for a while, um, because to make any of these other, part, um, other types of files, you know, we first need a part created. So I click on part, and usually when you open it up, you're going to get this grid system coming up. Now, a lot of times people will just have a blue screen. If that's the case, I'm going to maximize your screen right here, and you might even want to consider letting your computer load for a little more. Um, sometimes if the, if the AutoCAD hasn't, inv in, hasn't um, launched all the way, you'll just get this blue screen right here. So before you start drawing, you want to have the grid. What we're going to do is we're going to make a, now why don't we make a uh, cylinder. So before we do that though, let me show you some of the tools. Um, these are basically the tools of our disposal right here that we're going to be using quite a bit. You know, we, have, we can make lines, circles, arcs, uh, rectangles, you know, three-point uh, rectangles. You know, we can make uh, you know, lines, like I said before, but we can also make splines. A spline is a line that um, curves uh, wherever we want it to, ellipses, um, points, polygons, um, you name it, we can make it. So for our um, cylinder, we, we have to start off with a circle to give it that basic shape. So I'm going to click on circle, and from here we can, um, you know, wherever we want, we can just go ahead and, and just draw a circle. So I left click, just kind of drag it out. Right now I'm not holding the mouse down at all. I'm just kind of moving the mouse left and right. And once I get it, you know, where I want, which is anywhere, you know, right now I'm not concerned about dimensions at all. You know, let's say we want to make this really huge. I'll just click right there. And on my mouse, I can just kind of um, ro ro rotate the uh, little clicker on top of it, the ball on top, and it will zoom in and out. I can also go over here and I can click on the hand, that's the pan tool, and I can move the view wherever I want. The next thing we need to do is to add a dimension to this. So right now we have a circle. It might be one inch in diameter, it might be uh, you know three million inches in diameter. We can make it be whatever size we want. So I'm going to add a dimension here. And to add a to make the um, diameter, I just simply click on the line. And you'll notice that on my cursor there, I have a symbol that shows a circle with a line pointing from one edge to the other. So that's the symbol for diameter, right? So I just I left click and I'm just dragging it out. I left click again, and it sets my dimension. Right now my dimension is three inches, um, 0 0.0958, you know, 291. So as you can see, this program is very precise. You can get, um, you know, probably to the you know, ten thousandth of an inch, at least. So I'm going to go ahead and let, let's just change this to, uh, you know, three inches. And it automatically, you know, changes it for you. I, I, I simply just clicked on three and then enter right there, and it gives us a, um, this a dimension of three inches. So what we need, what we can do now is once we're done with our sketch. We're done, with, we're done making our circle. We're going to click this button up here. And this button is going to be a button that you're going to become very familiar with. Um, you're going to click on Finish Sketch. So whenever we're done making any type of feature, when we're done with any type of drawing, we always have to click that Finish Sketch button. And all these tools, remember our Line tool and our Circle tool and Arch and, and Spline and everything else, those have all been replaced now with more three-dimensional based uh, tools. Um, we can, um, we're going to be going through some of these in just a second, but these are all tools that deal with depth. They deal with that Z axis. 
and right now you can notice that we're only using our X and our Y. Let me direct your attention up, up here. If we want to change the view of a 3D object, we're constantly working with this little square up here. You'll notice that you can actually grab onto um, the edges and you can just drag it and, and you can get the other sides and you'll notice quickly that it's not a, just a square, it's actually a cube. So this is our right side view, it's our front, our left side, and our back side. If we click on this little house up here, that's our home button. That will give us an isometric view. And with a 2D object, an isometric view is kind of hard to tell sometimes what's going on. So I'm going to give this some depth. I'm going to turn this into a 3D object. And we use the extrude button. So I'm going to click extrude. And, and it will actually um, you know, give me kind of a preview of what it's about to do. I want to extrude this um, 3 inches. So it's 3 inches diameter extruded 3 inches and I can just type in 3 because right now by default on, at least on my computer I have it set for inches. And I just click OK. Right now my, my cylinder is kind of coming off of the computer here. You can't even really see it. If you ever get kind of lost like that, there's a couple ways we can get it this centered back up. You know, we can click on the pan tool. I click, you know, hand up here. You can just drag that up like so. Of course, then we'll have to press escape to get out of the pan tool. Or let's say it's still, you know, it's still down here. We can also click on the home button. I always say if you're lost in this program, you know, go home. Click on the home button and it will kind of frame it up really nicely for you up there. And then once again, I can just kind of drag on this cube to see all the different sides. This is some of the fundamentals of how this program works. There's a lot of you know, interesting things that it can do, but it all starts with creating sketches. What we're going to do now is I'm going to ask you to um, go ahead on your own, go to your front view here, and I want you to create a new sketch of a square, and I want you to extrude that out. All right? So you're going to create a new sketch right here, and you're going to draw your square. Make sure to finish your sketch, which will be up in this corner. And then the extrude button right here will allow you to give that at any depth that you want. 